Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Last time we kind of stumbled our way through getting our 7th gym badge here at Monte Nevera. Uh, but today we're going to keep heading north. Uh, make, making our way slowly, probably very slowly, up to this Team Star base, I think. So maybe heading here would be the first step. And then hitting that one. That should work. So maybe we go west first. Let's do that. That's the plan for today. Hopefully we can make decent progress. There's probably not too many new Pokemon we'll run into. But we'll see. Check out this. Fire-type Magikarp. Huh. Could be interesting. I'm not gonna go for it, but it could be interesting. That's kind of the way we came, isn't it? A little bit? I think so. So what happens if we just jump off the cliff? Oh, it's right down there. We can probably fly there. Right? Yeah. Let's jump and see where this takes us. It's a terror Pokemon in that lake there, too. But uh, we're on a mission today. Not bad. Okay. One more of those and we'll get there. Maybe we can check out this raid then. For the LP, if nothing else. Oh, there's a trainer, too. Psychic Mastiff? That's right. I never healed. Oops. Okay. What's right, lady? I'm totally lost! <laughs> So I'm going to fight you to find my way, I guess. Oh, that's the Water Tauros. That's very bad for Holo. Level 36, though. Thunderfang might be able to do it. Oh, it was Zoroark the whole time. Hey, I see another trainer out there. Ah, uh, then I guess... Crunch is 100%. We'll go for Crunch. There we go. Miss Magius, yeah. Well, it can stay out for that. We'll have to do it. Then we'll have to deal with that actual Tauros. Why does this random girl have a Miss Magius and not the gym leader? The ghost type gym leader. Probably because the electric type gym leader had one. Don't want to double up on Pokemon. Intimidate. Ooh, that could be bad, actually. Oof, yeah. Oh, flinched. Perfect. And we shook off the taunt. Woohoo. for all our non-offensive moves. I thought that tree back there, like next to her leg, was Zekrom for a second. I was really excited and confused. You're not lost at all, are you? Don't tell me. You actually wanted to come out here. Like the top of that tree looks like Zekrom from behind. If you just kind of glance at it real quick. I'm not weird. Delivery! Uh, go. Wait till that Sneasel goes away before I unpause. I think it's gone. Nope, it's back. I'm gonna fight this guy. I'm a courier fan. I just like to dress up like this. I love mailmen so much. Oh, Star Raptor. That's awkward. Well, that's very awkward. Um, Aura Sphere is special. Could still be good enough. Heck yeah. Plus 
Please sign here. For what? Couriers have a pretty passionate fan base. It may be a niche interest, but we're out there. Keep telling yourself that, my man. Okay, so we're here. We can heal up, like we should have done back in town. With seven gym badges. Can we buy quick balls yet? Should check that while I'm here. What do you got for me, my man? Hallelujah. I want all of them. Maybe not all of them. Like 40. So I already had 20 from the Pokedex. Or is that from Jacques? I had 20 from something. 20? I think that was Jacques. Nice. So now we're all set. Catching Pokemon much easier. Oh god, I, no, I'm not gonna fall down a mountain again. No! No! Okay, it wasn't that far. We're fine. Wanted to go up this slope. Oh, bear tick. Do we have bear tick? That's not at the button to get off of Maridon. There we go. We do not. Yeah, Oren. So hopefully, quick balls work. Roar. I love quick balls so much. They're so good. Which is why they're locked behind seven badges. You're just a snow white demon in northern lands. Beartick uses its frosty claws and fangs to attack prey. It's eight and a half feet tall. Oh my god. That's well, probably pretty accurate for a bear. Iron, not bad. I've not used any of those stat boosters. I probably should at some point. Hyper voice, alright. Now, where's the next Pokemon Center? Straight north, more or less. Oh, I see this Team Star base. Looks a lot farther on the map than it actually is. Also, some ruin over there. Let's veer left and kind of like weave our way down a little bit. Fight this guy. Oh, he needs more data. You need data on. Oh, we're like very close. I've decided my research subject for the day. Allow me to collect some data from you. Magnazone, uh oh. Uh, level 41. I feel like Dragon's bad against Steel. Water isn't. It's not good. Hey, confusion though. Might try a Dragon Pulse next turn. Speech isn't good either. I mean, what physical moves would Magnazone have though? Hopefully we don't find out. Yeah, not very effective. Shoot. Let's keep punching yourself or something. Flash cannon. Not bad. One more of those should do it. Especially after that. Blah, 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 blah. That's the water pulse sound. Level up for Firefox. What do you want to learn now? Magic room. I held items lose their effects for five turns. No thanks. I send out muck. Let's do Orin for muck.
One earthquake should be more than enough. And what else does he have? Oh, something scientist-y like Electrode. Jenny wants them to screech? No thanks. Oh, Hypno. It's also kind of scientist-y. Uh, let's see. Daphilies? Why not? Or Warren. Play Rock was revealed to be a move Mistopheles knows. Wow, what good information to have. It's for Warren, just like randomly pick a move. Why can't I seem to capture your data? Because I'm a person. I couldn't collect any data at all. Something wrong with my equipment? I think we'll just leave him to his devices up here. To his devices. It was funny. Laugh. Um. Probably a gimme ghoul around here. Oh, we can jump up to get these things now. <sighs> Overheat. Ooh. Cool. Also, I've been playing way too much Dragon Quest lately, because I wanted to try and break these pots. Wait, do we have a Hypno of our own? We might not. We don't. I guess Dragoon's up. I was thinking Ginny, but fighting poison against a Psychic type is not a good idea. Even though you have, even though you have like 20 levels higher than it. Uh, Thunderbolt should be fine. Yes, that was a crit even. We'll try another, try and go for the paralysis. Oh, I have quick balls. Why not use a quick ball? I'm dumb. Need to get used to having those. Anyway, Ultra Ball should still do it. It's gonna save like 30 seconds. Or not. Ow. There's another Gimme Ghoul around here, too. Always holding a pendulum that it swings at a steady rhythm, it causes drowsiness in anyone nearby. It's like the least creepy Hypnobdex entry. <laughs> Where's that gimme ghoul? I hear it. There it is, in the window. Four coins, nice. Item. Ugh. Big jump. Then, down to the Pokemon Center. We had three battles, I think? Is that enough? Nope, not even in the right area. Gotcha. Heal up. I just want to go tackle the star base. Might be a tad longer of an episode, but that's fine. Where's this gimme ghoul? Top, maybe? Can we just jump up there? From the hill, maybe. Yeah, there it is. Yep, it's right over here. What's that? Oh, I saw like it was. I was a Vaporeon. I want to go for that right away. The Flamigo and Vaporeon were like together, and it looked like one Pokemon. I was like, what on earth is that? Perfect. 
Also, just wild evolutions are a thing. I don't have seen them on the map before, but I don't think I've caught one yet. Its cell composition is similar to water molecules. As a result, it can't be seen when it melts away into water. I don't even have an Eevee. Wow, okay. <laughs> Such beauty of this cutscene. Kit. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Kit. What do you think of Cassiopeia? That's a lot of options. They're a bag of riddles. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment toward Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Well, I, I best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? Okay. Where'd that guy go? He was right... Where'd he go? Oh, is he so... How'd we get so far away? Nope. Can't even get the item now. I guess we're doing this right now. We will return later when it's time for the young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Y yes, Mr. Harrington. Hmm? And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Young master? Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew. The Rookbox, Rook, Rookba squad, led by young Master Ortega. Um, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea as to who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours. You know, I think he might be here to try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of the young Master. I guess that follows? Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Okay. Splendid. Then let us begin. Is Dragoon still out front? Challenge by Pokemon Trainer Harrington. Ooh, Morgrim. Dragoon is still out front. Uh-oh. Level 48, okay, this might be a doozy. Maybe. Uh have anything good against fairy? That's not like a risk. Not really. I guess Holo can take care of things. But what? Nasty plot, that's scary. Uh, rock slide, I suppose. Double nasty plot. Yeah, let's hope this rock slide does, does damage. Very good. I love from Stockley's and wants to learn knockoff. I don't think it's any better than Night Slash. No. It does more damage if the tar target has a held item, but... What NPCs have held items? And a Hatchrim. Just go for another Rock Slide, I guess. Oop, not enough for that. Ouch. Probably Crunch Hatchroom. Yeah. Oh, super effective. Dark's not bad against Barry. It's good to know. Well, well. An outstanding performance. 
However, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hasta, oh, it's the ground I thought it was him. Uh, hasta la vista. <laughs> that gentlemanly guy used to be director of the academy, I think. At least that's what I heard. Oh. Huh. Now he's, like, tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta let everyone know. Hasta la vista! I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Rookba Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead-from-the-back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is a short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it. But to take down all the lackeys, he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up. So much ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Rukba squad off the map. Alright. Shall we pop back up and heal real quick? After I get this item, finally. Do I have Ploet? I think I have Ploet. I don't have Plobebe. Yeah, okay. I suppose we can fight this guy, too. Such beauty, only to be marred by ugly piles of junk. I can't stand it. Whoa, her eyes. What the heck? Not my quick claw. 44 should be fine. Yikes. Double yikes. Um, I might sort of switch out. I can deal with that. Why does so many people like using Psych Up when there's no stats to, to copy? Rhyme should have had Psych Up. That would have been devious. Sorry, sorry. Guess I shouldn't have taken out my frustration on you. Anyway, pop back up here and heal. Go back to the base. We'll, we'll take it down today. Yes, I'd like to heal my Pokemon, please. And who, which three do we want out front for the raid? Uh, I guess Polo, Orin, and Firefox. The others might be scary. I mean, Ginny is poison, which could help, but she's also fighting, which doesn't. I'll go with those three. Just try to do neutral damage for the most part. Or we can just jump the fence here. Back up, kid. You can't just casually waltz in here like you're one of us stars that run the joint. If you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and, stor and storm the base like a decent person. <laughs> yeah, so you can't just fly into these bases. Yep, let's go ahead. Got on the fairy squad. Code Red, Code Red, Operation Starfall Alert. 
Everyone, get into position and defend the boss with all you got. And rest assured, intruder, we'll, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. Uh-huh. Ooh, the moon's out. That's kind of cool. Can I, like, target? No, I can't. Okay. Mash R it is. In the wrong direction. There we go. Go. Attack them. Is that down? Bunch of Florgus over here. There's another one. It's my Curly and Gardevoir. Attack them, please, somebody. that group down. Try to go for these two. Alright. This one might take the longest. Hey, gimme ghoul. Can I go grab that? No. Down is Mogrim. Morgrim, however you say it. I always say it like the wolf from Narnia. Is that down? Nine more. Did we get the? There we go. See these three, two Forgus over there, and some pinks. Yeah, last three. Get some more, get some more points, come on. No? Okay, dang. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. So your kit. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. Why does he have the Millennium Rod? <laughs> Oh, Azumarill, okay. Holo, not a good choice. What level is he at? I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. Level 50, ooh, okay. This could be quite a challenge. Good, I need one. Oh, well, thing definitely has huge power. Charm is awkward. I'll keep it out there. Maybe we can get a flincher paralysis. Awkward, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, yeah. Yikes. Okay. This'll be a battle. I'm excited. Oopsie. Did you just realize how outmatched you are? If you want to give up now. Now, if you want to give up, now's the time. Um. Thoughtleaves is probably faster. Flower Trick will take it down. What's next? Wigglytuff. Okay. I've got a Meteor Mash. That'll help. Yeah, let's try Oren. This is Wigglytuff here. Let's 
Seal, I think, resists Fairy. So anything should be neutral. Nice, good hit. Not so tough now. Oh, Dock Spun. I love Dock Spun. Let's punch it. Ooh. Have a taste of this slick move. Bet you can't handle my Pokemon's adorable strength. Fire Fang? No, nope, play rough. No, you said you were going to play nice. That's a different move. Baby doll eyes. Shouldn't matter. Yeah. Then I have to fight the car. That might be a problem. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. Misty Surge. What does that do again? Uh. Anyway, Meteor Mash is still super effective. Magical Torque. Not super effective enough. Deal Roller, what the heck does that do? Ow. The whole car just, like, donated into me. And destroyed his own terrain. Okay. Hey, my attack's up. That's good. I survive another hit. Nope. Okay, um... Okay, so it's not very steel. So Dire Claw would work. Let's try that. Ooh, very good hit. Confuse Ray. Alright. I'll try to fight through it. Oh, it started like smoking. You can see it. Oh, that's cool. I've never noticed that before. Neat. Come on, Ginny, you can do it. Heck yeah. Then I can XP for that. Ugh. How could I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Ah, oh, what the heck? Oh, Mel, I'm like, who's talking? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called a Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem's clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Char Cadet, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry. I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. Tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand. Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I'd have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that. What? Mela, cool it, will, would ya? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. Report on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep. I'm gonna train up my, my train up my Char Cadet and have him evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving, no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! You know, Melly shoots out shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks.
This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Gah, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway, so take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Reluctant Handshake. I'm not done yet. Oh, I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM, too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Ooh, Dazzling Gleam. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? Not a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer's the same as everyone else in the team. Because I was being bullied. So the Academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. That's a typo. It's used. Past tense. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the Academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the Academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington? About 18 months ago, a year and a half, or you'd say, uh, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the alterca altercation none nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the Academy, one after another. But, but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the Academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy de deleted all the records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No... No one told me that! I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary... Disciplinary... Disciplinary action against Team Star. Then, I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad. This was not intended as punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy's servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So we tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible! After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. He's buried beneath the Academy- um, but the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega. Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Kit, it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then. I 
XC. With its boss no longer around, the Rook boss squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Kit. And Clive has also performed admirably for you as your support. I remember him saying that, that thing that your acquaintances. Have you known each other long? Not all that long. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Which gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head-on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another. A Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. 10,000. And more TMs, woohoo! Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. Um, here I am. Ah, yes! Gah, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Ah! Wow. Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The, teacher, the students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies, despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot, creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. Really think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Kit. So there's a lot to unpack there. So yeah, like the bullying was so bad, Team Star stood up to him, and then became the bad guys, which caused such an incident that everyone at the school quit. And then everyone was hired. Everyone there now was hired on a year and a half ago, and no one remembers this just happening. It's weird. Like, still a good story and message, but like, weird how they had to like implement it there. But anyway, uh, it's definitely enough for today. So, oh hey, just kidding. I'll catch this first. Well, the next time we will. I don't know, take on that last titan? There's only one left for each of the each of the subplots, so. Like one more Titan, one more Starbase, one more gym. We're getting there. Uh like it won't kill it, right? Probably. Good. Then a net ball. Then we can wrap it up for the day. Thank you. This Pokemon was born in a mysterious land. It scatters colorful toxic scales from its wings during battle. Fancy pattern. Alright, that's it for today. Next time, let's go fly a kite. At the lake. Let's go to the lake next time. That's what we'll do. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.